hey guys and welcome back to my channel the nati factory uh short one today quick one so just posing the question was the trip to ukraine a success was there any point to going to ukraine and you know russia as well so uh the president and his delegation you know of african leaders had gone to ukraine and russia to try and have a bit of a peace talk you know um, come to an understanding with the leaders you know of those two respective countries to end the war you know with um its effects that it's having you know on economies and everything that's going on um i don't know hey um um i don't know if this is gonna stop anything that's going on there uh none of the leaders uh zelensky and putin seem interested in talking to each other None of the two governments seem like they want to, you know, come to a conclusion of this, you know. Uh, both sides, uh, you know, have to really come and sit down and understand with the Oaks. It's just not, it's not feasible for any side, you know. Uh, one side's totally getting, you know, wrecked. Another side is going to get sanctioned till the end of time, basically. And what's, what's going to be left of, you know, its economy. Uh, but one thing that was quite interesting, you know, what happened... Uh, over the last weekend is the the situation that we had with the president's security detail and journalists that were left behind at the airport in Poland. Um, geopolitics, uh, you know, such such weird stuff coming from you know Poland. I won't lie to you. Um, I personally don't believe that uh, we blundered in terms of you know documentation and the things that we were bringing into you know uh poland you know transiting into ukraine i don't believe things were done incorrectly perhaps maybe south africa's uh stance you know with the war's neutrality in the war alleged neutrality some people would say uh maybe that you know has been felt that th those waves have made their way all the way to poland so i think it was just a little spiteful thing just you know other countries can flex their muscles however they want it's their country, it's their law. We would, uh, you're just gonna have to respect that. But, ah, uh, it is geopolitics of the day of that whole week, basically, or whole weekend. I mean, but I don't think um this is gonna change anything. Uh, you know, with the current situation with the war, um, I'd love to see where is this gonna really go. What's the end game on both sides? You know, uh, you know, there's bigger players in this entire thing. And you know, with the BRICS summit coming um in August here, I'm sure maybe when Cyril was with, uh, you know, Putin, you're just ironing out some a couple of issues because we're also going to be on the world stage um, yet again. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about this trip. Was it a success? Do you see any point in it? Um, I, I see there was a point, but I don't think it was successful personally. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you again for viewing and I'll see you in the next one. Sure.